Hello everyone. Today, we're diving into how to customize styles on your website. There are two types of styles. Global styles, which apply across your entire site, and element styles, which target specific elements and can override global styles. For those who prefer not to fuss over details, ready-made font and color combinations are available. Let's start with the ready-made combinations. They can be found under the Styles menu. These are a great way to reset all global colors and fonts on your site quickly. You'll see the changes apply instantly. Choosing a font combination will automatically set the fonts for headers, text, menus, titles and subtitles. Let's go with Montserrat for our demonstration. Next, color combinations. These will change your site's text, background and link colors. Now to edit individual elements, simply click on the pen icon next to any element on your page. After clicking Styles, you'll see a variety of customization options. Font, font size, text color, text alignment and more. You can also edit the margins of the element, its size and animations. Let's try changing the header color to see this in action. Alright, we can also bump up the font size a bit. Notice how the change is instant, but what if you want to adjust all text across your website? Click on Styles at the top of the screen and navigate to Desktop. We'll cover mobile styles in a later video. In this section, you'll find settings that impact every element across your site. Starting with the first tab, you can choose a global background color, text color, and font. Next, you'll find global settings for elements such as headers, text, links, buttons, and captions. For each category, you'll see a variety of settings to tailor the look of your site. We'll increase the font size in the text section. Next, we'll update the links color. Here, you can adjust their behavior when hovering. We'll also tweak the style of our buttons by increasing the border radius and giving them a rounder appearance. Finally, we'll change the button's hover color. Great, now let's tackle the headers. If we set them to uppercase and adjust the font size, you might notice that the header on this page doesn't change. This is because the element style we previously set overrides the global styles. To maintain a consistent design, it's best to make global adjustments first, then fine-tune individual elements as needed. If you want to reset an element to the global settings, click the pen icon, select Styles, and hit Reset Styles. The global settings will now apply to the element. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to tune into our next video tutorial, where we'll focus on customizing our website's menu.